dear friends in this video we will make a comparison of the three measures of central tendency mean median and more let me get to the facts or the observations that i can make on these three measures arithmetic mean as all of you know is defined as the sum of all observations divided by the number of observations or it is the arithmetic average of all the observations in a data set median is the middlemost observation when the data set is arranged in ascending or descending order mode is that value which occurs most often the largest frequency of occurrence so this is the first thing now arithmetic mean requires measurements on all observations it is based on all observations median does not require measurement on all observations because it is the middle value the top 50% is omitted the bottom 50% is omitted the middle value is selected mode also does not require measurements on all observations arithmetic mean is uniquely defined in other words i get a single value because it is based on all observations i have a single arithmetic mean or in short form i have one mean value median cannot be determined under all conditions for example even though median is the middle value the measure of location in the arranged order of the data set when the data set contains even number of observations for example 10 observations median is the average of two middle values for example it will be the average between the fifth and the sixth value and therefore i cannot claim it is a single median value i still need to look at the middle value mode is not unique because there are situations where you have more than one picket point uh, there could be bimodal situations multimodal situations in descriptive analytics when we study the behavior of mode so we need to look at very carefully under what circumstances each of these measures can be used arithmetic mean is affected by extreme values or outliers so mean is not a good measure to use when outliers are present in the data median resists the outliers pretty well so is mode which also resists the outliers pretty well and therefore median and mode could be preferred and in the consumer uh, marketing and behavioral studies median is the preferred option when the data set contains outliers or extreme values now i can combine the mean because it is based on all observations for several groups it can be algebraically manipulated i can combine them i cannot do the same with median or mode i cannot combine directly the median of two groups because the ascending order of the two groups for example if i consider the marks obtained by three groups in a particular subjects let us say management accounting i have the arithmetic mean of all the three groups i can combine them and get a single mean when i have to do the median there is a problem because each group will have a different order of arrangement and therefore the medians of all the three groups will be different and because they are not based on all observations i cannot combine so i will have to take all the three sections together and find out the middle value so i can't combine directly similarly mode also i cannot do for different groups in fact uh, it's far more complicated to do mode for all the groups therefore 
we prefer arithmetic mean in those situations. The only problem, the greatest uh, cautionary tale I would say is do not use arithmetic mean when the data set contains outliers. So let us proceed further in a different lesson next time. Till then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.